Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajni Khan, and today's video we're gonna see how to communicate to microservices. So this is a continuation of microservices implementation implementation series. So this is that lesson seven. Okay. So if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it. And if you want, you can explore other videos as well in my channel. Okay. So uh, let's continue. Uh, this lecture so already I have developed two microservices one is ticket booking service and another is payment service okay so let me go to this uh, ticket booking service if you'll see here that one controller is there and in this controller it's opening so in this controller if you'll see post mapping and we are receiving a ticket as a request body and we are saving into the repository so what we need to do here from this ticket booking service we need to call payment service for for making our payment for to do our payment so how we'll do we need to call this payment service okay so to to call this payment service we need rest template so let me create that rest template object first so for that one let me take a class app config and let me okay let me take this one little bit uh, let me rename this one we'll take c as a capital oh, that is also fine at the rate configuration so it indicates all those uh, methods present with bin and those will register as a string bin so here uh, public rest template get template and from here we'll return new rest template so we are registering rest template as a bean in spring container and what we need to do we need to annotate at the red bean for that one okay we are done so other concepts are there bean name and primary auto wide sorry those stuffs are also there but at the red bean suffices here because uh, we do not have multiple rest template so here only we do have only one rest template object that is fine uh, so let's auto wire this rest template uh, at this ticket controller uh, so rest template rest template and this would be small at the rate auto wired control shift f okay so here we have auto wired rest template now we need to call what rest template dot whatever the method we want to do okay now let's go to this payment service and let's see what is the port we are using here in payment service we are using 8082 and in controller let's see what we are doing over here so this is the payment controller if you'll see pay is that url and post method is this one and here we are passing this ticket as a attribute not attribute say uh, request body and here in ticket we are setting the status as a book okay uh, now let's uh, go to this uh, ticket controller and here we need to use rest template so already i have coded this sample code with me let me copy paste these stuffs otherwise it will take some time so let's have this control shift o all done let me explain this one what i am doing over here so so here ticket we are receiving and i am taking a base url http colon slash localhost colon 8082 this 8082 port is uh, for that payment service port and pay is that url 
and here I am constructing the URI with HTTP headers and request body right so here so here we are passing ticket as a payload and headers so this headers are sample headers no need to because here uh, the headers are not required for us but for sample code I have given if you want to pass some headers you can use this uh, like this you can use to pass that header so this is for uh, sample code and here a request is there and now we are passing this request to uh, rest template dot post entity and here we are passing this URI whatever that URI we have created and request this is the request with uh, header as well as payload okay and here we are passing here we are providing what is that return type right what is the response entity should contain this ticket dot class and from this payload uh, so payload what is this one so payload we are taking a ticket payload as a uh, variable and we are storing this uh, storing here result dot get body so this result contains ticket as a body and we here we are facing result dot get body okay and here after getting this payload so here in this payload what we will get ticket plus the status if you will see in payment controller here we will get status right set status as book so in this ticket controller we will get booked as a status and here we are uh, storing into our repository okay so this is that uh, actual code okay now let me run both these services and we'll gonna see okay so uh, anyway i will give this code uh, in my uh, github repository and i will paste that link in description section you can take these codes as well okay uh, so what i need to do first let's uh, let's start this payment service uh, so this is the main class here we go spring boot up next part will start this uh, ticket booking service so uh, this is started already let me run this one as well run on spring boot application okay so uh, this is also started okay so s2 console uh, let's go to this s2 console okay sorry my bad some some other tabs are open here okay so let's first go to s2 console okay first let's see uh, is there anything is there is there any records are there so this is s2 console if you'll see let's see so nothing is there now let me hit that postman first we'll hit ticket booking service so from the ticket booking service it will go to payment service and from payment service the the payload will be updated with the status will be updated with book now and it will store into that one okay so this is the ticket booking service this url and i have not given any other uh, urls here so just see post map post mapping and this is the default url for this post mapping i am using okay and body i have given so this is my name and i am starting from some place bhanjanagar and destination is bbs or bhubaneswar and i am traveling date is somewhere some date okay and seat number 14 i want and amount is 500 okay now let's hit this one and we'll gonna see okay so we are getting a 200 okay response and if you'll see If you'll see here, okay, so just hold a second. If you'll see here, status is coming as a book. Okay, so this is coming from from where this 
payment controller just see here we are making this status as a book and if you want to check here as well as to database let me run over here just see id equal to 1 amount 500 destination bhubneswar and name my name seat number source destination these are and status is book okay so hope you got it that uh, how we can communicate to microservices using rest template and uh, in next video we'll see how to read properties from property files okay so in spring boot how we'll read uh, properties from property file and after that one we'll see how to externalize those property properties properties uh, using config server okay so hope you got a crystal clear picture about how to communicate to microservices and if you have any feedback you can have your comments in the comment section and uh, thank you for watching guys have a nice day